Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're doing the extended European outlook for today's second video. So as always on a Tuesday, we're having a look at the weather for the next 30 days, four weeks across uh, not only the United Kingdom, but also across Europe as well. And we'll extend out to weeks five and six before we go because the charts are there. So we might as well uh, look at those. So this is your 30 day slash 42 day European outlook. I shall get over that for you. In a moment, just to say that the first video release today was our 6am UK weather forecast. And we've got 10 to 14 there coming up for you later on today as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. Thank you so much to ecmwf.int for supplying the charts as well, by the way. Thank you so much, EC. Right, going to start off with the week one mean seal pressure anomaly. Taking us through week that we're currently in, 25th of September to the 2nd of October. October. So this week we'll see the low pressure in the Atlantic, the west of the UK and Ireland. However, many parts of Europe will actually be dominated by high pressure, especially across central and eastern parts of Europe. There is a trough of low in the eastern corner of the Mediterranean. 500 millibar heights looks like this, with uh, below average heights in from the Atlantic into the far west of Europe. Same time, above average heights, high pressure will be dominating across many parts of Europe, where there will be trough of low pressure across the extreme eastern part of the Mediterranean. So temperature anomaly uh, this week is going to be pretty warm in many areas. We see widespread temperature anomalies of 3 to 6 degrees above average in those uh, red shadings. Um, that stretches from Spain, Portugal in the southwest, right way up to uh, Russia in the uh, northeast and all points in between. Few areas are a little bit cooler than that. So the UK and Ireland still above average, but here we see the, the anomaly of around one to three degrees above normal. And then large parts of the Med and uh, the eastern part of the Mediterranean towards the Black Sea, seeing um, temperature anomalies again around one to three degrees um, above average. You have to come down to North Africa really to find anything uh, cooler than average. Here we see the temperature anomaly of one degree or more below average, but generally a, a warm or a very very warm week to come across much of Europe. Not dry weather as well, bit of a three-way split though. So in the far north and northwest, particularly through Norway and into Sweden and uh, northern parts of Finland, west average through there, and northern parts of Britain and also into Ireland above average rainfall through there. And into the Greek islands, again, we see wetter than average conditions being predicted. Otherwise though, many parts of Europe coming out drier than uh, normal, we see this big swathe of dry and average conditions from Spain and Portugal in the southwest all the way over to Russia in the uh, northeast. So lots of dry weather to come just in the extreme northwest and southeastern corners. Do we see anything a little bit wetter than normal? Week two will be the second to the ninth of October. And uh, we have higher pressure building across the western side of Europe. Trough of low pressure is into the north and the northeast. That could take a swipe of winter into the far northeast of Europe and the northwest of Russia. But otherwise, most places under that area of high pressure could be relatively warm, especially in the western side of Europe, with winds coming up from a southerly direction, probably. Temperature anomalies look like that. So again, we've got trough of low pressure into the north and the north east. We've got the ridge of high pressure to the west and to the southwest. Again, we could well be bringing up some quite warm air from the south up the western side of Europe. How are the temperature anomalies looking next week? Now again, large areas above average is a little bit cooler across central and northern parts of Scandinavia, just into the far northeast of Europe. And also cooler to the south of the Black Sea, generally focused around Turkey. Otherwise, above average temperatures, especially so through the southern and southwestern part of Europe. So again, Spain, Portugal, into France, southern Germany, northern Italy, around those alpine areas. We see the temperature not only around 3 to 6 degrees above normal, as we do into western parts of Russia as well. Otherwise, generally ranging from like a little bit above average to around 1 to 2 or 3 degrees above normal. Normal, generally solidly above average across most parts of Europe again next week. 
and the precipitation and normally looks like that. So west of an average across northern and northeastern Europe again, especially focused on Scandinavia and into the far northeastern Europe. Um, probably average, maybe a little bit wetter into uh, Norway and Scotland and Ireland again. And in the far eastern part of the map, once more, we could see some above as rainfall through there. But large portions of Europe again are coming out dry and average, especially so through Spain, Portugal, France, into some of Germany, again around the Alpine regions into Italy, over the Asiatic, into the Balkans as well, seeing a largely dry and average condition uh, next week. Week 3 is going to be the 9th to 16th of October. Bit of a change this week. Find some low pressure developing in the North Atlantic and coming into the North and the West Europe as high pressure pulls out into the middle of the Atlantic. Some higher pressure down towards the far south of Europe as well. Could that be reverting to more of a westerly flow for Northern and Western parts of Europe? The 500 millibar heights are looking like that for week three below average heights low pressure around iceland high pressure into the atlantic and down across southern parts of europe as well let's go through the temperature and precipitation anomaly so most areas are coming out with above average temperatures again in the third week all the way from italy and portugal west right way over to the west of russia in the east and all points in between generally a little bit above average around one possibly two degrees above normal once more precipitation wise for week three we look like that so a bit of north south split setting up these southern parts of europe are coming out driving averages again especially focused around spain portugal north africa into the central basin of the Meb and into southern parts of italy as well wetter than average in the extreme north to north of scotland into scandinavia um, too. So uh, in between that, we've got a sort of average type um, conditions or no signal. I suspect for Western regions, so that will be Ireland, England, Wales, possibly Northern France, the Low Countries, maybe Western Germany. It probably comes out a bit wetter than normal. And then further east was like Poland and uh, on towards the Black Sea, Ukraine, up towards the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, so Lithuania, probably drive an average through there. Week 4 will be the 16th to the 23rd of October. So low pressure generally across the southern, southwestern parts of Europe. It is a weakening signal though. 500 millibar height looks like that. Some sort of weak ridge in the Atlantic. Low pressure towards Greenland, Iceland. And high pressure is over on the east side of Europe. It actually might be doing something um, a little bit like that. What's the temperature anomaly doing? So it's largely above average, but particularly so across eastern, central and eastern parts of Europe, actually. So anywhere from like the far east of Germany to the Black Sea, coming out around 1 to 3 degrees above normal. Out west, it's closer to average. So Ireland, UK, France, Spain, uh, particularly northern parts of Spain, Possibly there, we see the temperature closer to normal. No suggestion that it's particularly cool, but possibly closer to average there with the temperature anomaly. And the week four precipitation anomaly. I think overall, we're probably just turning out a little bit wetter across these more western parts of Europe. Eastern Europe may be slightly on the drier than average side. Okay, so that's your 30-day European outlook done. We will go three weeks, five and six, both before we go. So week five will be the 23rd to the 30th of October. So a higher pressure then building uh, to South Scandinavia into the Baltic Sea and back to Russia. That will try to get wind into the east, but probably confined to those more eastern, northeastern parts of Europe. At the same time, lower pressure is coming in to the south and to the southwest. The 500 millibar heights look like that. So that's closer with the high pressure, actually, into the last week of um, October. That might be starting to bring in some quite cold air from the east across some parts of Europe, particularly the east of Europe with that, uh, I would have thought. Temperature knowledge look largely above average, no change there. And precipitation wise, it's driving average across northern, northeastern parts of Europe, still rather on the wet side, but perhaps out in the west. And then week six will be the 30th of October, 6th of November. So this week brings more in the way of low pressure in from off the Atlantic as the high pressure begins to retreat back towards the extreme northwest of Russia. 500 millibar heights looking like that. So above average heights through Greenland to Norwegian Sea into Scandinavia and also west of Russia 
Again, that might pull the wind into more of an easterly, perhaps for some parts of northern Europe. Temperature line still looking above average mode. Doesn't make any difference for temperatures, whatever the wind direction seems to be doing. And precipitation wise, wet and average of UK and Ivan. Um, otherwise, very weak signal, perhaps wet on the east side of the bed too. Okay, that's your 30 day European outlook done and dusted. Remember, any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big headwinds, large pinches of salt attached. So it could look completely different when we do the next extended European outlook next Tuesday. We will look at this one again with the island and UK focus on Saturday. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe, and you show show both DM out. We'll be back shortly with the 10 to 14 there, which will include all our break features. Come back for that a little bit later on for this week's Say European Outlook, though. That's all for now. And thanks so much.